hello friends today in this tutorial I will be showing you that uh, how to basically export the PDF document into Microsoft Word document so this will be a simple converter kind of an application we will be building inside uh, Node.js and uh, Express in the browser and we will be using a Python library for this and we will be writing a simple Python script which we will be calling inside our Node.js Express application so this is basically the interface of the application that you can see right here guys uh, basically we have a choose file button and whenever you click this button you will be able to select any PDF document so let's suppose I select this PDF document so it contains two pages first page second page so I need to convert this into a Microsoft Word document so what I will do is that I will simply select this file sample.pdf click on convert so it will now call this python script guys and now it will download the file as an attachment which is microsoft doc file if i open this file you will see all the text which is extracted here you will see that this is a text right here this is a second page you can see simple pdf file too so all these two pages have been successfully extracted guys we can even take another example let's suppose we take a, a this table example this is table.pdf guys so this contains a simple table out there inside the pdf document so now i need to basically convert this into a microsoft doc file so this file is selected if i click convert so it will now convert this into a microsoft document file so now you can edit the values you can change the values here so that data which is present that table which is present guys it is automatically converted into microsoft word document so i don't have microsoft word installed so that's why you are seeing incorrect formatting here if you do have microsoft word you can open that file inside this software similarly we have more pdf documents guys uh, let's suppose we have this one also so this will also convert this you will see that this contains various colors forms here it is converted to microsoft word and multi page also so this multi page contains a lot of pages so now this will call this python script one by one you can see in the console whenever the conversion is completed we get this message nice little message that conversion is completed you can see now it, the file is downloaded so this is a pretty la large file so you will see formatting will not be great it will also contain images you can see this is containing images here so you do need to have microsoft word installed on your computer guys if you don't have it you can use online software to view your microsoft word documents so this is wordpad that you can see right here so we will try to build this converter kind of an application guys so, so all the source code i have given in the description of the video you can buy the full source code i have uh, given the source code here you will see basically you will get this directory structure a zip file will you will get after you purchase the source code and this will be the directory structure we have the index.html this will be the python script we will be calling here and uh, this will be the index.js file so now let's get started guys and I will show you how to build this application so first of all I will stop this application and start from scratch so inside package.json file we need these uh, dependencies guys which is express, malter and python shell so we don't need this dependency child process we only need three dependencies express, malter and python shell python shell is, is in order to call external python scripts inside node.js express application so after you install these we need to write the code here so let me delete all the code and start from scratch so just create index.js file guys so and basically we will start a new express server and uh, here guys we, we will basically have the fs module path module so these are pretty much the built-in modules inside node.js and we also will need the python shell we will simply import this python shell that we installed in order to call external scripts of python this contains python shell uh, object 
so now we will make a simple express app guys so we will listen on this app dot listen 5000 and so i think i have already declared this so that's why so now if you start this application node mod index.js you will see app is listening on port 5000 so you will simply have a get route here guys so when we basically go to the home page we will load a template so here guys we just need to make this index.html file and right inside this file we will have a simple form and uh, the form will make a simple get request sorry post request and encoding type we do need to provide because we are uploading a file here so multi part form data and right here inside this guys input type will be file and basically here we will be uploading pdf file so we will only be accepting the pdf file and it should be required and input type submit and here value will be convert that's all so basically guys uh, we will this will be pdf to doc so this will be the post request we do need to make guys inside index.js so just go to right here and write app.post and slash pdf to docs and here guys first of all we do need to upload the file using malter and we do need to create automatically you don't need to create this uploads folder it will automatically get created so whenever you delete this Uh, this uh, will automatically get created using uh, malter so how you do need to do uh, first of all we do need to basically require this library malter and after this guys we do need to have uh, the storage level where the files will be stored we do need to create this variable and basically this will have disk storage inside this this takes an object's destination where the files will be stored so three arguments will be there request file and callback and here we will be storing inside the uploads folder we will create this and the file name so whatever file name that you need to give guys request files callback again so we do need to make basically give a custom file name so we will say date dot now for unique file name every time and basically here you will make use of path module extension name file dot original name that's all and this will uh, get it and now we need to basically pass this to the malter constructor this basically have a storage option and we will simply pass our own storage that we define right here now we will pass this middleware function guys of malter into this post request we will simply say here uh, we will say we need to upload a single file at a time here upload dot single and here guys we do need to provide a name name parameter so just write here just give this name parameter so this is pdf here so we will simply give this pdf right here so whatever name parameter is there that's all so now your file will be uploaded guys so we will simply say if the file is not uploaded in that case we will say that uh, request 400 and we will send out a error that no file uploaded and return that's all if the file is uploaded guys then we need to call that python script first of all let me console log the path request dot file dot path so if the file is uploaded this will be uploaded inside the uh, uploads folder so just wait if i try to upload a pdf file click on convert so you what you will see guys uh, this uh, you just need to refresh it i think sorry local host 5000 sorry local host 5000 it is saying no such file directory uh, sorry guys we do need to create that uh, uploads folder that's why just create this uploads folder before you run this script because that file will be stored inside this so node mon index.js 
just create this uploads folder so now if you do that guys basically the path will be shown to you in the console and if you check right here this file is uploaded so now we simply need to call this python script guys so whatever code is written right here we do need to create uh, call this python script and how to call this python script it is very simple py shell we will make use of python shell it will be automatically imported python shell so we don't we no longer need to do like this we can even extract it like this also by destructuring it python shell and basically inside this constructor guys we do need to provide the file name python script file name convert pdf to docs py and uh, basically the mode here will be text and uh, python path will be python so you do need to have python installed guys so we are simply given here python so in my system python is installed so script path will be in the same directory my python script is present so that's why i will be providing that directory name that's all and here the arguments whatever arguments that you need to pass so we are passing the request.file.path guys so the input file that we are passing right here so that's all that we need to define guys so now it contains various events guys py shell contains various events so whenever you get some message from the python script we can basically log that message like this so inside this callback function uh, basically some if some message is there similarly if any sort of error take place we have this uh, py shell on error in that case we can return a 500 response and send out an error occurred and similarly guys we do have basically a end event also basically whenever uh, the task is completed then this event will automatically trigger and uh, if any sort of error take place we can say if any error take place we can simply return or uh, we can send out that error and uh, if all goes well in that case basically we will paste this code guys we will create the doc file here we will say request.file.path.replace pdf to doc and then we will simply download that file using request.response.download and uh, we will pass the we leave the file name converted.docs this is custom file name that's all so now if you run this source code guys so what will happen it will basically call that python script and then it will download the file as an attachment so if you now select the file click convert now you can see your file is downloaded you will see that so you can pick any pdf file that you want to table.pdf you can see that this is a really good converter kind of a tool guys that we developed if you still want the full source code guys using that python script you can purchase the full source code using the given link in the description i have charging a very little fees so basically i found this i built this library from scratch in order to basically convert that python document into microsoft word document so if you still like this video please hit that like button subscribe the channel as well the link is given in the description and you can see all the files will be there you can see that so thank you very much guys for watching this video and i will be seeing you in the next live stream on this channel